We've come to section 26, installation of electrical equipment. Let's go through the changes for 2015. Section 26 has some significant changes, such as tamper-resistant receptacle requirements in childcare facilities, weatherproof receptacle cover styles, receptacle requirements in kitchens, arc fault protection extended to most general use receptacles, and the installation requirements for submersible pumps extended to all bodies of water. The 2012 Code Rule 26-700 Sub Rule 12 required all receptacles in commercial and residential daycares to be tamper resistant. Sub Rule 13 provides relaxation for the installation of tamper resistant receptacles when those receptacles are in locations where access by children is prevented. The exceptions provided for single dwellings are now allowed for daycares. The 2012 Code required all receptacles in daycares to be tamper resistant. The exception to tamper-resistant receptacle installation requirements in dwelling units has been extended to daycare facilities. Receptacles for clock outlets, refrigerators, and microwave ovens are now exempt. 26702 requires receptacles exposed to the weather to be provided with cover plates suitable for wet locations. Weatherproof receptacle covers are available in several grades. The extra duty model stands up better to mechanical injury and environmental degradation. The 2015 code recognizes that exterior receptacles in all locations may be subject to occasional wetting. Receptacle covers marked wet location only when cover closed are required in all outdoor locations not considered a wet location. Damp and wet locations are defined in the Appendix B notes. Under the carport roof is an outdoor location. The side of the house, marked in shadow, is an outdoor location. One meter above grade and areas not within a 45 degree angle of the roof line are wet locations. Receptacle covers must be marked with specific wording, wet location only when cover closed, to be acceptable in outdoor locations. The 2012 code did not require receptacles in unused kitchen walls. The 2015 code requires receptacles installed in kitchen walls just like other areas of the home. This rule replaces the 2012 code rule where a minimum of one receptacle, sometimes called the nook or table receptacle, was required. The 2015 code now requires the finished walls in a kitchen to have receptacles installed and spaced like other living areas in accordance with item A. The 2015 code rule 26724E requires these new kitchen wall receptacles to be supplied by a dedicated circuit. The gas range receptacle may also be included. 26-724E states that all receptacles on kitchen walls and the gas range receptacle must be on at least one dedicated circuit. Rule 26-712-D6 now requires the receptacles installed in eating areas to be installed similar to outlet installations in other living areas. 26-724-E requires these receptacles to be on a dedicated circuit. The purpose of arc fault protection is to prevent fires due to arcing in an electrical circuit that would not normally be identified as a fault by a conventional circuit breaker or ground fault circuit interrupter. Arc fault protection is extended through the branch circuit wiring and all appliance wiring connected to the circuit. Rule 26-720 through 26-724 have some changes, including a new definition of arc fault, the types of faults the device must work on, the types of devices that can be used, and the circuits that will be exempt from protection. Improved technology in the combination type AFCI circuit breaker provides improved detection and protection from both series and parallel arc faults for the entire branch circuit and cord sets and power supply cords. There are two types of arc faults, series and parallel. A parallel arc fault occurs when there is a breakdown in the insulation between the line in neutral or the line in ground conductors. Parallel arc faults are considered the more hazardous of the two types as they are considered a high current level arc. A series arc fault occurs at a break or gap in a single conductor in a series with a connected load. Series arc faults are considered a low current level arc as the current is limited by the load. Arc fault circuit interrupters may be equipped with class B ground fault protection set between 20 to 30 milliamps. 
Arc fault circuit interrupters are tested with real appliances and include tests called unwanted tripping tests, which include in-rush current, for example capacitor start air compressors, normal arcing, which you'd see in a vacuum cleaner, non-sinusoidal waveform, which would be dimmers and power supplies, or multiple loads, such as fluorescence. The technology in the combination AFCI circuit breaker provides complete protection for both series and parallel arc faults in branch circuits, cord sets, and power supply cords. This outlet branch circuit type AFCI does not provide parallel arc fault protection upstream from the device to the branch circuit. Other means must be provided to ensure branch circuit conductor protection upstream of the AFCI. This results in the requirement to run armored cable or conduit to the first outlet if these device types are used. Rule 26-724 allows certain exceptions to being AFCI protected. General lighting branch circuits which contain 125 volt, 15 amp and 20 amp receptacles must be AFCI protected with an approved combination type AFCI device. Receptacles in washrooms, receptacles for refrigerators, kitchen counter receptacles and island or peninsula receptacles do not require arc fault circuit protection. Receptacles for sump pumps are also exempt from requiring arc fault protection. The installation of GFCI protection in a bathroom provides additional protection to the appliances and cord sets plugged into them. Note that this rule does not prevent AFCI from being provided. As previously reviewed, the refrigerator and kitchen counter receptacles are exempt from the AFCI requirement. A dishwasher which plugs in requires AFCI protection. If it is hardwired, no AFCI protection is required. Note, a wine cooler is not a refrigerator. AFCI protection may be provided by three separate devices. Where an outlet type AFCI receptacle is used, the upstream portion of the circuit must be installed in metal raceway, armored cable, or non-metallic tubing. This illustration shows three different device types, breakers, arc fault circuit interrupter receptacles, and faceless AFCIs. Since AFCI receptacles cannot provide parallel arc fault protection upstream of the device, the branch circuit must be provided with additional protection in the form of metal nipples, armored cable, or non-metallic tubing. That's all for section 26. Thanks for watching.